Welcome back to another episode of Tailspire GM Tips Beta Edition. This time we're going to be going over the atmosphere system. If you hit your spacebar to bring over your overlay, you can see the atmosphere section here in the corner. Uh, here is where we can mix the sound levels of music volume, ambient volume, and the effects volume. The effects volume is mostly for the attack sounds at the moment, but I'm sure more sounds will be added to it as the game progresses in development. You can also change what ambient music is playing and what music is playing. You can get a nice mix between the two, creating your own unique sound. And then you can apply to game board to send it to the players. You can also change the sky, whether it's a green slump or darkness. We'll stick with the default for now. You can drag the position of the sun around, as well as kind of more of the angle. So if you want a high noon versus a slightly past noon feel. You can also change the post effects. I'm going to turn that music down a little bit. It's just in my ears. Uh, you can also change the post effects to be bleach, making things more of a whitish, a ghostly bones. Greens, which you can change once again the slider lets you change how in depth the effect is. Isolated reds, so yes, you can theoretically make a Sin City feel. And warm, our favorite place to be in a tavern. You can also, after after or before applying to a game board, you can click this little block to automatically create a GM block from the settings you have at your selection. This will put a GM block in your hand and put you into GM overlay mode. Simply clicking will place the block and then you can save and close. Remember we placed this little guy earlier. We can right click him and click edit and it will automatically change the music and ambient volumes to what we had before and everything else as well. We can simply adjust these as we want add in the ambient and music. Save and close. Notice we did not apply it. Saving and closing an atmosphere block does not apply it to the game board. We click apply and there we go. That's it for the atmosphere system. Stay tuned next time where we'll go over the cutscene system. 